So John, some of our uh, documentation refers to Quorum. Uh, what is that and how does that uh, work within vSEN? So Quorum, um, beyond its implications in Robert's Rules of Order, is a, is a system of basically collecting votes and assuming that you've got a, in this case, a, a majority, you've, you've got a, a majority or a, a will to rule or, or to operate. In this case of a storage system, this means that we're in a situation that despite it being a cluster with multiple nodes, um, we don't have a situation, we have a situation to where we have a majority of votes. And this majority of votes is critical because without them, we cannot write anything to disk and we will not process IO to a guest virtual machine. Um, and this is the alternative to this is if you didn't have a quorum system, you could have what's called a split brain. Um, and that sounds, uh, it's actually far worse than it even sounds, which isn't great. Um, but in this case with the split brain, this is where you would have a case to where uh, maybe you have two copies of data. You've done a raid one. Um, and they both go active and you have two copies of virtual machines the one's running from one set of data one's running from another they're different accepting transactions uh this would be very bad um if you want to read up all about you know the limitations and trying to mitigate this go read papers on cap theorem but what's critical to vsan is we use uh, in the case we use either witness components which is a component that runs in an additional fault domain or host and that provides a, a weight so we have an odd number you're always going to have a you, you don't need 50% of votes, you need 51% of votes. And so that extends. Now note, in cases we may not always see a witness component um, that's providing votes. If we have, um, say, RAID 5, and we're, we've got a, a VMDK that is striped out as four different components, uh, we would need three of those four to operate. In that case, there's actually no longer a witness component. Or if, a, if an object is particularly large and it stripes and it ends up with multiple components on different hosts. Uh, there are, is some weighting of these votes so that collectively one host that just happens to end up with a bunch of smaller components doesn't just suddenly get to win by majority against, you know, three other hosts. So there is a little bit of intelligence to this. And what I like to say is we could get really into the maths and I could do this nerdy whiteboard with these like splits and vote weights. Um, the key thing is don't overthink this. vSAN is smarter than I am. It's probably smarter than you. And what it's going to do is it's going to automatically assign enough weights to votes that you can't get in a split brain situation. You're always only going to have one authoritative copy. Um, what is note, though, is that these votes in this quorum system is on a per object basis. And so you could have a situation, say, in a stretch cluster or a VM, you didn't replicate it, it only lives on one side. It's, it's not going to care about what's going on in the other half or the, even the witness to that stretch cluster. You could also have cases to where you have 12 hosts and six end up in a partition. Six can only talk to each other. Six can only talk to each other. You might have some VMs find a consensus on their objects on one side. Um, you might have some objects find a consensus on the other. A uh, virtual machine is only going to keep operating if it has a consensus uh, for all of its objects that are attached. But you, you could end up in a case where you had multiple VMs running on one, multiple on the other, but never the same VM running on both. So um, it's a pretty cool system. And there's some great availability papers on core.vmore.com that kind of go deeper into this. Yeah, thanks for, I, I think one, that's a great explanation. And two, I think it's a great reminder for everybody to hear the fact that it's on a per object basis. And we aren't uh, talking about uh, quorum counts for servers or anything. Yeah, hosts like don't it's, vote against each other yeah. and they don't shoot any nodes in the head, which uh, Stoneth, that's a real technology term, I'm telling you, but it, it's kind of from the Stone Ages, as brutalistic as it sounds. 